It's time for that coveted uh, moment of the uh, Friday, the uh, news review and preview. <laughs> much that, awaited. I mean, much <laughs> with bated breath. <laughs> we all wait. John Bailey, Rome News Tribune, uh, joining us, and David Crowder, WRGA News Director here in the studio. And, uh, well, let's see. Um, we, we, uh, we got the boat unstuck. Yeah, wait a second. I thought we were doing this whole broadcast in Gilligan's Island voices today. Oh, my good man. What? <laughs> <laughs> Thurston Howell of the third. Yeah, we're <laughs> the, the, Thurston uh, Howell the, uh, gives his report from the <laughs> banks of the Coosa River at the Coosa Country Club after, you know. Oh, lovey, yeah. it's stuck. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad nobody was hurt. It, yeah. was a, it was a freaky thing, you know, the logs and stuff floating in rivers and well, lakes. Well, and there's so much of that. Yeah, yeah. there's a, lo- there's a lot of, uh, okay, there's a lot of. Flotsam in the, uh, in the river. No jetsam. Flotsam. Ah. Yes. <laughs> I've always wanted to use that word. Well, there you go. Use it one more time and it's yours. <laughs> you can have it there. All right. Uh, some other things going on. Uh, uh, Commissioner Cochran has uh, gotten an attorney and, and looking and asked for a judge to file making this uh, ethics thing stop. Well, so basically what they're asking is they're asking a hold. They're saying that the process has been... I'm using their words, arbitrary, um, and not, you know, follow the the proper procedures. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, and because of that, you know, it could be harmful, you know, to Cochran's reputation, among other things. I mean, they filed, they filed uh, late yesterday in Fuller County Superior Court. And so that argument will go before um, Fuller County Superior Court Chief Judge uh, Jack Niedrak today at 1.00. Um, and so we'll see what happens with that. All right. So there's really not much else to report on that other than uh, it may hold up next week's scheduled. Yeah, depending. Yeah. Because so so that, you know, ethics investigation panel hearing was scheduled for, and if I remember correctly, it's Tuesday at 930. Hmm. And so, you know, we'll see because they're asking for the judge to basically step in and say, you know, you haven't followed procedures, which was one of the arguments that uh, Cochran's attorney, Jeremy Berry, made during the initial hearing a couple of weeks ago was that you know to break it down that you know you can only address um accusations made in the ethics complaint you know that there's limited scope to those and that there's a certain procedure that hasn't been followed gotcha right all right well we'll wait and see what happens there uh, the traffic study uh, a little surprised by that I, mm-hmm. I, I you know that was some interesting things that uh uh, they came out of that study yesterday. Yeah. Um, the the biggest surprise was, is it really, when you look at the, the time people were spending downtown, uh, doing away with the three-hour parking limit, really didn't have that much of a change. Uh, I believe it was, uh, from comparison purposes, in February of 2023 this year, the month before the traffic study start, the average, the average stay was about 145 minutes. Mm-hmm. Um, when the parking limit was taken away for that first month in March, it stayed at around 145 minutes and actually went down to 141 minutes in April. So that really didn't make much of a change, which I was kind of surprised by that, too, because I was thinking, you know, people, oh, there's no three-hour parking limit. We'll just go. We'll just park and be here all day. Mm-hmm. So. I think so. But I, so what didn't what doesn't surprise me is that I feel like people go downtown for that limited almost like you know hour or two like you go get something to eat maybe you like go get some ice cream or yeah you know what i mean and and then you're out you go do something else or you go shopping or you go you know talk to the whatever you know jan over at fort gates and cane or you know what i'm saying something like that and you're down there for a little while but Mm -hmm. but then you then you end up just packing up and and rolling out to somewhere else and you can usually get all that done in a three hour time period Uh, plus we're also creatures of habit too yeah well that's true you know and so if, if the habit's been made yeah, so uh, uh, don't don't expect any big changes anytime soon. Uh, at least they're going to wait until after the river development mm-hmm. project is completed, and maybe take another look at parking. Okay. Then that way they don't have you know they don't put in any changes 
that you know the river district comes in it's like oh well, we're gonna have to do something different for that they want to kind of like envelop it all gotcha. like at one time that makes sense potentially you can do it once yeah <laughs> like, here you go guys and, is what and while you for. brought up the river district uh let, let's talk about it a little bit it, it seems like there's still some kind of construction going on was it bell street over there on uh, the sewer yeah is, is that is that part of this other project that was uh okay what the, yeah, uh, pe people are kind of confusing the Nova project with the other the infrastructure improvements that well, were going on on West Third bit, Street. I mean, they're, they are they're, separate, they're, but they're mixed. They're, yeah. they're like one became the uh, one. One yeah. is the result of the other. Yeah, yeah, the water and sewer work that was paid for mostly by the ARC grant mm -hmm. that's completed. Appalachian Regional okay. Commission. Yeah, okay. that's completed. Uh, what's right. going on now is uh, the development over there, the Nova development, which is the uh, the housing units, you know, the retail space, mm -hmm. the green space, and all of that. Oh, that's. Uh, they're that? having to put in, you know, water and sewer uh, lines. Gotcha. So that's what they're doing. So uh, they said in the days and weeks ahead. You might have a lane closure on West Third Street while they're doing that work. Uh, the, the it will not affect the parking spaces at the tennis center on West Third Street, but you might be down to one lane in that area okay. uh, a few times. But that's the work that's still going on. The other, the infrastructure work that has been the water and sewer has been completed. Now they're moving to the utilities, which is a, a kind of a more complicated project because mm -hmm. they're going to move the overhead utilities underground. Wow. Well, that's and uh, they're, that's they're lines, cable. Right. Line they're working with Georgia Power on that, and they're supposed to get, like, a price quote on how much, you know, all of that's going to cost, and uh, then that work will begin, and then, you know. Well, I'll tell you, when it's all said and done, it's going to be a pretty sharp-looking area, uh, no doubt about that, when they get the, the everything underground and all that. So and, a significant change. Yes. Yeah, and what you've also got coming up is the DOT has awarded a bid for the uh, widening of Second Avenue, <laughs> which means Sorry. that work. Uh, they said during the recent uh, uh, public works committee meeting uh, could begin as soon as June. Oh wow! Okay, which will of course cons coincide with all of this work on West Third Street, and guess where the detour for that project is? West, West Third Street. West Third Street <laughs> to Avenue so, yeah, A, back yeah, to yeah, Turner McCall Boulevard. So on that all, weird double light, is it all going to be done by the But is it? Yeah. Uh, this was brought up. Is it better to just do all of this at one just time and have one there. big headache yeah. instead of like multiple <laughs> smaller headaches? I don't know. I mean, you know, I think I think either way. <laughs> people are going to be annoyed about about it, you know, because you know we we don't we do not. Oh, if people as a, complain as about a people like to be the inconvenience. If people no, like to complain about parking downtown, just wait till the complaints we get on this. This yeah. is going well, to be well. Then we got. I mean, and this know, is a two. The Second Avenue widening is a two and a half year project. Yeah, well, I mean, you got that because they've got to do. Don't they have to? They have to do the bridge as well. Yeah. Yes. And yes. Then, and and then taking out the 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 V there. Yeah. Which would um, be great. <laughs> which is all, all, which the, I'm the, all about well, the, the suicide uh, intersection. Yes. There, yeah, yeah, I forgot. I like the DUI trap. That's where you get somebody who's like, I don't know what to do. It's like, pull that guy over. <laughs> the intersection of Bedlam. Oh, you know. gosh. Yes. Yeah. Well, and then that we, would and then nice. we have Fifth Avenue. I mean, I mean, I'm sorry, Fifth Avenue. Turn McCall. The Turn McCall Bridge. Oh, and. The, so, the, the, so the hopes and prayers the is that they will not start Turner McCall until they're finished with Second Avenue. Yeah, you won't be able to get there from here. No. Yeah, I mean, if they're both going to uh, the, the poor bypass is going to get over. Yeah. Uh, over they got to turn into like a car transport pontoon boat. <laughs> A helicopter. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> well, <laughs> Dropping on the helipad over at Floyd. Oh, yeah. Uh, I tell you what, that does. Well, you know what? Progress is painful sometimes. Uh, it, it, it is. And I mean, th th this work on West Third and, of course, the Second Avenue widening, th these are things that have been needed for a yeah. long, long time. It's yeah. just kind of a coincidence that they're all kind of coming together at the same time. I don't know, like waiting to the last minute to get it all done before it's due. Well, and the good thing, and this isn't <laughs> this isn't really like a cut against the DOT, but the good thing is DOT scheduling is flexible. Yeah, I you mean, know, if, it, if it looks a, like a, uh, one's going to be a, a major headache, estimate, excuse till me, the DOT other, as it's scheduling estimate. estimates. It could be often, five years out before yeah. term calls finished or yeah. whatever, depending on how the Second Avenue, you know, yeah. they'll they'll. they'll 
influence. They won't do it. They won't influence. Uh, inflict too much pain on us. I say that I don't want to eat my words on that. One. No, but then we get, we get the uh, you know we got the shortcut through uh, you know Riverside Park if we have to use that to, to get around from McCall over to whatever. I mean, yeah. it'd be like a lot of zigzagging, but uh, yeah. Also but I, I predict I roads. predict that coming up you know starting in June if if the work on Second Avenue. Uh, most of our job, Tony, your job, my job is going to be like traffic updates. Yeah. All right, that's uh, going to be. Uh, I don't have to. I don't that's going to be a lot of it. You have to guess, dude. You, okay, so you know they had the track and field thing over at Barron yesterday. Yeah, I which is great, right? Today and tomorrow All too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Traffic on Second Avenue was Ooh, astounding. Yeah. <laughs> it was just like I went. I took a ride off of Broad Street for whatever reason. I decided that was the way I was going home yesterday. <laughs> we might I have was like, well. We'll be here for a while. Oh. We we might just have to do what was it, Les Nesman on WKRP that would beat his chest and do the <laughs> traffic report and he would. We need to find an intern to do that. That would be funny. <laughs> How's traffic this morning? Uh, traffic on Second Avenue is bad. Yeah. Back to you. Uh, <laughs> you just all you need to do is record that once. Yeah. yeah I'll just replay it. But like, let's let's do it. Check it up. Yeah. It's bad. Well, we'll we'll see what happens there. It, uh, and we know what happens when Turner McCall is closed. Oh. So, yeah. You know, just just warning people ahead of time. Well, as you as you say, closed. They're going to keep half the bridge open, David. <laughs> That'll work. Well, half the bridge. Well, half yeah. a bridge is better than none. I, yeah, I guess it is. You know, <laughs> at least you'll eventually get there. Just going to have to uh, allow a little more time to get places during the. I suggest peak get days. an audio book. Get an audio book. <laughs> You know, you can listen, and if you want to listen to you know, Kill Mead or Hannity more in the yeah, afternoon, yeah. I don't know, Dave, Dave's a big fan. That way, uh, at least you'll <laughs> be angry in traffic. That's right. Well, that might, that might incite road rage. Well, yeah, I, I don't know idea. if I would listen to a political talk no. show stuck in traffic. No. <laughs> Not a well, good idea. We'll read from. I think, uh, I think that should be like DUI. Like that's alcohol plus. You know, it's like those two things should not go together. We'll read from. Uh, was it uh, soup for the soul or something like that? Uh, chicken soup for the soul. We'll we'll have readings in the morning to yeah. get everybody. That's a good idea. We'll have a, we'll have our chicken soup for the soul I reading. Got, you can have yeah, your you can traffic remember. time Deepak Chakra whatever you know the Tibetan monk chant. Exactly. <laughs> you know. Singing, all that stuff. But like all right, Rome, we're gonna uh, calm down. Put on some. In you, you know, yeah, <laughs> maybe a Kenny G tune. Uh, <laughs> oh, you said no anger, no anger. Yeah, okay, no, all right, never mind, never mind. And uh, then it looks like, oh gosh, there's so many other things. Uh, looks like they're moving some dirt with the varsity is, is supposed to be. Yep. And I mean, in our in our food news, uh, so that's Here's that's your coming food update. <laughs> that's coming around on top of all that. So. Uh, we'll see what happens. A lot of lot of construction, a lot of things moving around. If you can get there happen. with the Turn of a Call Bridge construction. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the here's the like. Here's hey, that, I'll, I'll go the connector point. and come down North Broad to go to Varsity. Well, that's yeah. what I mean. Here's that point of no return. Like the Varsity opens on the same day they shut down half a Turn of a Call Bridge. <laughs> That's your, like, you know, critical I think, mass. I think people will figure out how to get there. Uh, yeah, you, well, man, oh, you remember Look, what? Steak and Shake? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh my well, goodness. Krispy Kreme. When Krispy Kreme yeah. opened up, we, they, yeah. they had to hire, yeah, I mean, for like three weeks. Yeah. Three or four weeks. Uh, had to hire traffic control. Traffic. <laughs> you couldn't even get in there. Oh, it was yeah. crazy. But uh, that happens everywhere. And, you know, and Chick-fil-A, they, they basically have traffic patterns down to a science. Chick-fil-A needs to, DOT needs they to, need like, to consult hire them. Chick-fil-A. <laughs> they really DOT do. DOT needs contract. Right with Chick Fil A yeah, regarding really traffic do. flow, they yes. really do. Uh, you know, and and here's the chicken biscuit to go along with it. You know, that's it, it, man. So you just mix it in there. Be like, hey guys, we know you've been living in tra- <laughs> traffic for a while. Turn them a call. We just brought everybody out a ice cream and a chicken biscuit. You know, and, and everybody. You're making happy. me hungry, John. Yeah, I mean, they, <laughs> that sounds good. All right, guys. Well, listen, a lot is going on. Progress is happening, and so we'll just like I said, and the it's going to be like, what are you guys doing? It's going to be it's going to be a big year coming. Up. Yeah, it's going to be a big summer and big fall as far as things uh, getting underway. And as long as they don't mess up football, comedy with journalists. Well, I mean, you do have you do have Barron Stadium on Second Avenue, and you've got football yeah. season coming. Well, up. they already took down the trees, right? That was the yeah, to take yeah. down the trees because yeah. that's going to expand there. So, <laughs> yeah, but don't mess up the football parking. Yeah, I don't think they will. Yeah, no, <laughs> do that. Well, I mean, Shorter and uh, and, and Rome, I both use a Baron Stadium. Mm-hmm. So uh, there you go. Yeah, Shorter's just Friday signed a new Saturday. contract for yeah. Baron. Yeah.